right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Jake, the Celtic Kid, Matthews! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habiba, the Eagle, Nimago Meda! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. And they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Down. 
under three minutes remain in round one. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Matthews is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, you gotta look at the finish, continue to gain posture, and rain down big strikes in your point. That shot blocked by Matthews. And both guys really throwing with authority. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Magomedov's got the full mount. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. You've been hit with bigger shots than that, all right? You're gonna shake this off. You're gonna come back and win. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Big hook. Huge shots there! Man! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm or triangle choke, Habib the Eagle Hermano Guerra. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets.